Gallagher, welcome to a brand new series here on the CBC called Ear to the Ground. It's our chance to introduce you to some brand new bands across the country from Vancouver, BC to St. John's, Newfoundland. And speaking of St. John's, that's where we are tonight to meet a band that's kind of like family around here, Thomas Trio and the Red Albino. The reason they're sort of like family is because their career began in 1990 by winning the Molson Canadian Rock Showdown. That show and this show were produced by the same people. The following year, they won a Casby Award, and right now they're putting the finishing touches on their second album, produced by Mark Wright, who co-produced Kim Mitchell's Oral Fixations. Now, with this independent release, they hope to attract the ear of a major record label. Here they are, all the way from The Rock, Thomas Trio and the Red Albino. <laughs> established a market for ourselves in Newfoundland, in St. John's for the most part. And we just got to the point where we felt we were going to overdo it at home, burn you know, out. we were going to burn out ourselves and burn out the audience and then just everybody lose interest. Mm. So we decided, okay, it's time to move. If we're going to move, we might as well come to Toronto. It seems to be the, the centre in Canada right now of the music industry. And We thought about that before we had won the contest at home in Newfoundland, and then when we won that, and uh, it, you know, they they made uh, money available to us for plane fares to come up here. We yeah. chose to uh, drive up here instead, so we took the money and basically made the move up here. And the grand prize winner is Thomas Trio and Red Albino from Oz FM in St. John's. And then uh, we did the competition, I think, on the 7th of September last year, like a year ago, pretty well. And uh, then when we won that contest, that was, we just decided, OK, we got to move up here. This is a good stepping stone. Let's go with it. Let's not lose this hype now, this uh, energy. And so we decided to move everything, the whole kit and boodle. Mm -hmm. So we went back home, packed up the U-Haul and the family. And <laughs> there was like 10 of us moved big up U here, right? Big U-Haul. Big U-Haul with a trailer. How much garbage you accumulate. <laughs> In such a short period of time, but that Molson Rock Showdown, that that, that definitely nailed it. In yeah, our, that in our mind. that nailed it. You know, we realized how important it was for us to win at home because that got us up here. You know, that 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 was uh, that was a hand saying, you know, uh, now we're asking you to come up. You have to come up. <laughs>
This program is brought to you by Molson Canadian Rocks. It's coming for you. This is the party of the year. You can't miss it. You just go down the highway, two lefts and a right. Party. That guy said left, huh? Left. Pretty sure he said left. He definitely said left. It's a toga party. Is that oh. a personal affirmation? Car for reverse. We're out of here. Hey, what, would you get lost? Gentlemen, welcome to the Center for Personal Affirmation. Molson Canadian, with beers all about. What do you like best about McDonald's pizza? The pepperoni. Uh, the pepperoni. It's some it's pepperoni. Some it's pepperoni. Some cheese, man. I beg your pardon? You got a permit to fill them here? Cheese! <laughs> pepperoni. Oh, definitely the crust. Take yeah. off the pepperoni yeah. and you yeah. eat it. Cheese goes with it. It's so crispy. Oh, I just love that music. The crust. Have a nice day. Try the Unwrapped Crisscross, and that means you can win one of ten trips for two to meet the hip hopsters in Atlanta. And that's not all. Two Trident rappers, no, not those kind of rappers. Two Trident rappers will get you a buck off any CD or tape at participating Sam the Record Man locations. So watch Dan Gallagher's video hits for details, or check it out at Sam the Record Man. Trident Sugarless Gum, we've got music wrapped up. When we first came up here, I guess we were very hesitant about the industry because, I mean, you hear all these nightmares about uh, bands coming up here and signing bad contracts and just getting the raw end of a deal. So we were very kind of careful as to who, you know, everybody would be coming up to you at gigs and these people who you thought may have been important saying, oh, you're great, you're really good, you should check these guys out or whatever. Thousand people that come up and say, you know, we can do this for you, we can do that for you. And it takes a while before you realize, like, who actually could do something for you, because then you're excited about everyone coming up to you in the beginning, right? You know, because every every time you uh, every time you do a gig, you know, there's three or four people that come up at the end of the gig going, look, I know this person that can. You kind of sit yourself back from it, and then you realize who's really on the ball with this, and who's really, you know, the the right person yeah. or being uh, giving you the right objective opinion yeah. about what you're doing and not just a pile of hype or yeah, if they don't slur that's a good sign yeah As far as uh, like agency is concerned, um, the trick or treat agency came up to us and said, "Look, we don't want you to sign anything, right?" They said, "We don't want you to, to sign to sign a contract, or um, you know, when you're when you don't want to be with us anymore, then you can leave, right?" So that was the first kind of community thing because you always you want to build your community because this is what we left at home, you know, very tight knit. Everyone knows everyone. Everyone trusts everyone to a point. 
except when they yeah, start. Yeah, it's a much more casual, friendly kind of relationship yeah. as opposed to, you know, you're signing this pa piece of paper and you don't know if you're signing your life away or, yeah. you know, you don't really know what you're signing. I yeah. mean, there's a certain amount of naivety when we first came up here, so... So, so when they approached really us and, and said, you don't have to sign anything, look, like, you know, oh, come like over this. to our house and... You know, have dinner and have a yeah, barbecue exactly. and bring bring your kids as well you know and meet our kids and they were very impressed with with our family environment we were very impressed with theirs right so that was that was a real stroke of luck and they just happened to come down and see us by accident right you know so definitely a lot of luck is involved and that was before the Molson Canadian Rock showdown mm. right so that was that was a sort of bonus for them too us winning that stop in this town. I, I promised Mom I'd look up a family friend. Yeah, me. Seems you went to see this girl, Doreen. Yeah. I'm a friend of Doreen's. Doreen's in the other room. Well, he got all he could handle. Um. Uh, hi, Doreen. So you met Doreen Kim. Excuse me, I gotta make a phone call. We would have helped him out. Guys, you gotta get over here. But we were kind of occupied. He says no way. Molson Kennedy would be here small event. We know headaches. The worst headaches. So we use anison. Used it for years. Because anison's strong enough for our worst headaches. And mine too. Let's you sleep. You wake alert. Let's you sleep. You wake alert. Sleep is D. Helps you get a good night's sleep. And by morning, the sedative effect is gone. <laughs> Say good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. There was no joy in Diaperville. The team was all wet. First Lulu struck out, then Pee Wee. But hold on, fans, don't fret. Here comes Mighty Huggies with its best leakage protection yet. Watch how moisture is drawn into our unique middle layer that's now more absorbent than ever. And our tapes are now wider for a snugger fit. Now the pitcher throws his fastball, and now the game is won. For Huggies has come through, and it's a home run. Huggies, a dry and happy sports fan. Fresh Ontario apples get to you right away. Imported apples take the scenic route. If you want the freshest apples going, make sure you know where they've been. Country Vocalist of the Year, Michelle Wright, stars in Michelle. Saturday at 8 p.m., 9 Atlantic, 9.30 in Newfoundland on CBC. Hi, I'm Dan Gallagher, inviting and reminding you to join me weekdays at 4 o'clock for Dan Gallagher's video. It's here on the CBC. If I had to say weekends, that would include Saturday and Sunday, but no, we're here Monday through Friday with the best videos, the best contests, the best guests, and the best darn viewers in all of Canada. That would be you guys. Check us out weekdays at 4 here on the CBC.
When you're writing, it would be stupid to have one process, right? It would be stupid and really restrictive, and you'd censor a lot of really good ideas if you had one process. Mm. But what we try to do is make sure that everybody integrates the songs, the song in their own playing, right? Because there's no use. When, the when we're collaborating and we're writing a song totally collectively, then it's a lot easier. <laughs> The character is, is the, the sum of the parts, you know, of the, of the group. You know, Linda doing hers, Lil, Lil doing his, Louie and Danny and myself, so that then it's got the sound of everybody, you know, the five heads, the five, the five talents. Is, and then it has a personality, a really strong personality. These other songs that we're writing now are much more structured and we're, we're much more conscious of, uh, you know, the audience. You want to you wanna play something mm -hmm. that's both pleasing to the audience and pleasing for you to play and something you're going to look back on and say, that's a well put together song. I'm yeah. really happy that we wrote that. Yeah, we, we kind of know where each other is coming from now, so I think we respect each other's opinions to a certain extent. So, if one person is not satisfied with any one part, then if that's a strong enough, valid enough point, then we will make an effort to change that one part until everybody is totally satisfied with everybody else's part in the tune and the whole collaborative, you know, the whole song, once, it, once it's finished, is, uh, you know, satisfactory to everybody. Yeah. We drink, we play downstairs, too, in our basement, so every now and then we come up for a, to get a fresh pot of tea and, you know, ask people upstairs how it sounds through the mm. floor. How's it sounding? Sucks. <laughs> This is a happening place. Oh, come on. There's supposed to be a lot to see here. Hey, Gord? Gord? Gord. Are you all right? I didn't think anyone else survived. Gord? What would you like to drink? <laughs> what would you like to drink? He'll have a Canadian, same as us. Wow. Stay with the tour, Gord. <laughs> Gord? Molson Canadian. What beer's all about. From Walt Disney Pictures, he's never coached. I hate hockey and I don't like kids. It was supposed to be a pep talk. They've never won. You really suck. Thank you for sharing that. But with some hard work. Oh, oh. A little luck. You're gonna need it. Oh. And that special bond between a coach and his players. I'm gonna die. Fire! They'll become a team. Emilio Estevez, the Mighty Ducks. Hey, coach! Starts Friday, October 2nd at a theater near you. This program is brought to you by Molson Canadian Rocks. It's coming for you.
Life already has gotten a hell of a lot more intense, and it's going to get a lot more intense if things keep going and and it keeps going to higher levels. But if you are always con if you're concentrating and trying to remain realistic, then you're going to learn more and more about yourself. I think going, you have to really look at where you started and think about yeah, going back. You know, think about what yeah. it was when you started and yeah. uh, try to try to stay the same way, not let things get to your head. Because I mean, as soon as you know, your popularity or because you're a real success, you're really big, as soon as that starts getting to your head, I think your music is going to suffer as a result of it mm. because uh, your personality changes and your personality is what helps create the music. You know, if we keep going back to Newfoundland, it's a small community. And if we're still, and if we're still accepted by everyone and we still get along, then, then definitely that's keeping it in check. You know, if you start getting too cocky or too, uh, you know, full of yourself, overconfident, yeah. I think that will have a reflection on your music, and that won't work. Yes. So I think you got to keep a cool head. Sometimes I, I just become a spinning top, you know. It's just moving too fast. i gotta, I got to slow it all down. You can't, you know, I mean, you can't reflect. If, if it's always blowing strong and you're always moving, there's just no time. Or, or I should say my brain is not advanced enough yet at this point in my life. My concentration level isn't, isn't that advanced so that I can do that yet, right? You know, I'm sure down the road as, as, I'm, um, as I'm learning, hopefully that, that will um, become uh, much stronger, you know? I'm reading a lot of self-help books too. And you are seeing your therapist. You have you. You have been going to you. Like wrapping yourself in fire, Lord. She pulls off the skin of desire's vices. When she walks, she warms her way around me. Like 
like I paint you to a maple juice. She turns a thin love thicker. Spice is sweet in my life and the ones around me. If you get tired, uninspired, the child gets too heavy inside. Next week on Ear to the Ground, Junior Gone Wild. My thoughts are getting clearer, and I know the time is near. But I don't know just what I'm going to say. Because we've been best friends now since God, I don't know when. Next Monday night at 7.30, 8 o'clock in Newfoundland, right here on CBC Television.